confusing. How do we know which numbers to keep and which ones to change? And if we do change them, what do we change them to? There's so much going on at once. I'm going to teach you a song that will help you remember all the steps for rounding whole numbers so that you'll be able to round anytime, anywhere. First, let's hear the song. Mark your spot, look to the right. Four or less is out of sight. Five or more will add one more before the rest go out the door. Fill up all those empty spaces. Put some zeros in their places. This song will help you pass the test. Now you go out and write the rest. Now that we've heard the song, we're going to break it down into smaller steps. Here's our number, 432. We want to round to the hundredths place. Mark your spot, look to the right. There's the mark for hundredths place, and here's the spot to the right. Four or less is out of sight. Three is less than four, so it's out of sight. We'll cross it off and write a zero above it so we remember. Five or more, we'll add one more before the rest go out the door. We already took care of our four or less number, so we will let the rest go out the door. Let's cross them out so we are left with empty spaces. Fill up all those empty spaces, put some zeros in their places. There's the zeros. This song will help you pass the test. Now you go out and write the rest. Now it's time to write our final number. We'll take the numbers that are not crossed out in order. That gives us our answer. 400. Good job! Now, what if instead of a 4 or less number, we had a 5 or more number? Let's backtrack so we know what that looks like. Now our number is 462. We know that 4 or less is out of sight. Since it's not 4 or less, we can keep singing our song. Five or more, we'll add one more. Six is greater than five, so we're going to add one more, but to the spot we marked this time. Four plus one equals five, so we'll write a five above it. Five or more, we'll add one more before the rest go out the door. Those ones are sent out the door. Fill up all those empty spaces, put some zeros in their places. There's the zeros. This song will help you pass the test. Now you go out and write the rest. Now we write our final answer, 500. Now that we've gone through all the steps, let's do it a little faster all together. This time we're going to round the number 6723 to the thousandths place. Here we go. Congratulations! Now you know all the steps for rounding whole numbers. Keep practicing and you'll be able to round like a pro in no time. Thanks for watching!